On January the 3rd, Iran's most powerful military commander, Qasem Soleimani, was killed in Baghdad, Iraq, in an airstrike ordered by U.S. President Donald Trump. Will this lead to World War III? Does Bible prophecy have anything to say about this? That's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. But before I do, I want to thank Doug Bachelor for sponsoring this video. Doug Bachelor is a Christian preacher who I have been listening to for years, and his messages have helped me gain a better understanding of the Bible and get closer to God. Doug Bachelor also has his own YouTube channel with a variety of inspiring Christian videos that will help strengthen your faith, help you grow as a Christian, and gain a better understanding of God's Word. Click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen or the link in the video description to subscribe to Doug Bachelor on YouTube today. Back to the execution of Qasem Soleimani. An online post entitled U.S. Drone Strike Ordered by Trump Kills Top Iranian Commander in Baghdad by CNN News explains, U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he ordered a precision strike to terminate a top Iranian commander who was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on Americans, adding that the decision was one of deterrence rather than aggression. Now, Qasem Soleimani was not a good guy. An online post entitled, Qasem Soleimani, U.S. Kills Top Iranian General in Baghdad Airstrike by BBC News states, The 62-year-old spearheaded Iranian military operations in the Middle East as head of Iran's elite Quds Force. Mr. Trump said the general was directly and indirectly responsible for the deaths of millions of people. Under his leadership, Iran had bolstered Hezbollah in Lebanon and other pro-Iranian militant groups, expanded its military presence in Iraq and Syria, and orchestrated Syria's offensive against rebel groups in the country's long civil war. And Mr. Trump said Soleimani had killed or badly wounded thousands of Americans and was plotting to kill many more and should have been taken out many years ago. However, the Iranian government doesn't see it that way. An online post entitled, Iran Vows Revenge for U.S. Killing of Top Commander as Trump Sends More Troops by Washington Post states, His work and path will not cease and severe revenge awaits those criminals who have tainted their filthy hands with his blood and the blood of other martyrs, Iran Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei said in a statement. Iraqi Prime Minister Abul Abdul Mahdi called the attack an assassination that was in flagrant violation of the conditions authorizing the presence of U.S. troops on Iraqi soil. In response to Iran's threats, President Trump tweeted, targeted 52 Iranian sites representing the 52 American hostages taken by Iran many years ago, some at a very high level and important to Iran and the Iranian culture. And those targets and Iran itself will be hit very fast and very hard. The USA wants no more threats. There's more to the story, but that's pretty much the gist of it right now. And as a result of this conflict, many people have been sending me messages asking me if I think this can lead to World War III and asking me if the Bible has anything to say about it. In terms of this leading to World War III, now Iran does consider what President Trump did in killing General Soleimani an act of war, but it's highly unlikely that this will lead to World War III according to military experts. It's more likely that this will lead to escalating violence in the Middle East and Iran will attack targets that are valuable to the United States or United States allies like Israel. This is reflected in an online post entitled, Iran official says Israeli cities can be revenge targets by Politico.com. The Bible does have something to say about this. And speaking about signs of the end times, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 6, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And I know some people will say, that's not much of a prediction. There have always been wars throughout the history of the world. But my response is, how did Jesus know that the world would never come to a peace agreement? It's been 2,000 years since Jesus made that prediction, and with all of our progress, attempts at peace, and technological advancements, nations still haven't been able to stop warring with each other. 
We also have had two world wars in the last century and the Vietnam War, which has cost the lives of over 115 million people. According to an online post entitled Highest Death Toll from Wars by GuinnessWorldRecords.com, by far the most costly war in terms of human life was World War II from 1939 to 45, in which the total number of fatalities, including battle deaths and civilians of all countries, is estimated to have been 56.4 million, assuming 26.6 million Soviet fatalities and 7.8 million Chinese civilians were killed. The country that suffered most in proportion to its population was Poland, with 6,028,000 or 17.2% of its population of 35,100,000 killed. I actually live in Poland. Not to mention, there's a number of smaller scale wars or military conflicts going on in the world right now, like the war on terror, the military Russian intervention of Ukraine, and the Mexican war on drugs. Now, I'm not sure, according to the Bible, if there is going to be a World War III, because the Bible doesn't give details about World War III. At the same time, the Bible didn't give details about World War I or World War II. But I think one thing is for sure, according to the Bible, and that is that wars and armed conflicts around the world will continue to occur until the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus predicted it. He even said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 8, when speaking about wars and other end time signs, all these are the beginning of birth pains. Birth pains is another way of saying contractions, as when a woman goes into labor. And the closer she gets to giving birth, the more frequent and intense her contractions become. Therefore, the closer we get to the return of Jesus, the more frequent and intense will be the wars and similar conflicts around the world, along with other end time events Jesus warned about. The state of the world today testifies that Jesus is coming soon. The question is, are you ready for his return? If not, click on the screen to watch my video entitled Five Steps to Salvation. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and click the bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you for watching and God bless you.